so much it's falling apart. Robert Stephanus. That's right. I'm talking about Robert Stephanus because this right here, here I'll show you, is a Robert Stephanus Greek New Testament text. And my friend, he's the guy responsible for putting all the Bible verses that you see in your Bible. See verse 15, 16, 17. He was doing that while he was running for his life because, my friend, it was illegal to have a Bible in that day and age because that Bible right here was not the Bible of the day. And so they were called heretics and he was running for his life. And that's what he did. Isn't that not an amazing thing? Well, this is the Stephanus text. Robert Stephanus, and that's the Greek. And you can see it, it's concordance lined up with the numbers, every word, so that you can just zoom in the back. And it gives you the definition. The text is put out by Barry, he's the editor. He put it together. He made it very clear right in the edition at the beginning, and I don't want to be offensive to anybody, but I highlight it because I think it's important. Right here, he made it very clear in his introduction that this is the Greek text of Stephanus, Robert Stevens, the Textus Receptus text. Robert Stephanus wasn't the very first Protestant reformer. Before him, we had a man, he was a Catholic priest. What did he do? Well, he took the Bible and brought it back to Greek. Whoa, you see, to Greek. You can see the Greek, it's very simple, right? Before that, it was Latin for a thousand years. Constantine all the way to the Reformation, well, the 14th, 15th century. Oh, now it's come alive. Erasmus puts it into Greek and all of a sudden Martin Luther from Germany reads it for the first time in Greek. See, he was used to that Latin. And he used to read, the just shall live by penance. So he'd crush his fingers, wail his back. You know what I mean? Uh, walk on nails, anything that caused pain, do penance for your rotten sin until he discovered that just shall live by faith. And it means to believe. What does the word faith mean? Well, for the word faith is the same word you'll find in the Gospel of John. And what does it mean? It means to put your trust into something, just to look up. And if you believe it, and you believe the promise, you'll be saved like the brass serpent on the pole. That's the purpose to John chapter three and believing. And he defines it clearly. It's like looking at the brass serpent on the pole. Martin Luther gets saved and now the reformation starts burning, man, because for the first time the king supported him before that. Ah, don't do that, no. The kings of France, other countries would not support you, heretic. They didn't like the excommunication stuff from the Catholic Church, so you're going straight, straight to the stake. And they would fry you up with green wood. And if it was green, they liked you. If it was dry, they liked you. But if it was green, I got that backwards. Oh, buddy, you would take a long time to burn and you'd suffer. So Erasmus brings it into Greek. And Stephanus, well, he uses what? the fifth edition of Erasmus, because Erasmus was the first guy to start collecting manuscript evidence, right? I mean, he was. He started with six manuscripts, the Catholic priests. They were all Catholic. Five editions. Stephanus continues. He too adds and adds and adds. Is the Stephanus text identical to the King James word for word? No, it is not, because we're going to introduce you to Biza, and what Biza does is definitely corrects James White oh, on a major scale. You know, who was and is the Holy One? That's the modern Vatican James White text, the Nestle's Greek text. But unfortunately, James White in his book, The King James Controversy, misled people, maybe because he didn't have the info. I think that's what it is. And what does Biza do? He lights the way. King James Version of the Bible, Young's Literal Translation. And all along, while these Protestant reformers are collecting evidence, they obviously make translations. The Geneva, the chain, was such a popular Bible, they had to chain it to the bench because people would steal it. Had nothing to do with the weight or anything like that. <laughs> all Protestants, all coming from this work, the work, and the continued work of the Protestant Reformation. 
Why are you supporting the Nestle's Greek text that relies on a handful of manuscripts, Vatican manuscripts, and fourth century, my friend? When we have evidence coming in the first century collected by these men that died so many that brought you a million citations coming from pastors beginning in the first century, and they used all available early Bible translations like the second century Peshetta, the Italic, many others, and all the manuscript evidence, they weren't just leaning on four. And the Nestle's text, is it a conspiracy? Not at all. Look who's on the text. <laughs> Carlos, Archbishop Mar uh, Martini. Oh. oh, I couldn't have forgot that name. Alcohol driven, buddy. <clears throat> he passed now. But the head of Asia Jesuits working with Bruce Metzger. Bruce Metzger, by the way, educated a world leading atheist, my friend, who's been so educated into Christianity, it's unreal. He heads the textual uh, uh, department at Princeton, educated at Moody, the world agnostic leaning towards atheism, Bart Ehrman, buddy. <laughs> he was educated in textual criticism by Bruce Metzger. And Bruce, although a Bible-believing Christian, did not believe the apostles wrote those books. And he delivered, handheld to the Vatican, the translated work of the Ma Book of Maccabees. Listen to me, man. I'm not here to judge what these men do, but if you think that is the authority God gave you when we have in our possession the Robert Stephanus text, even incomplete, it's still God's word. Listen. There's 29 additions to the Nestle Creek text. I've been at this for a long time, my friend. What are you going to trust? All the evidence or just a handful? And who can forget the cigar smoke and, yeah, Kurt Allen, buddy. And his wife. Oof. Yeah, puff, 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 puff the magic dragon. Anyway, come on, guys, man. What authority did these men have? <sighs> in modern times to pervert people and draw them away from this kind of work, giving you the new international version and the only begotten God, Jesus. A begotten God. Thank you, JWs, and every other guy that thinks, uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, think on these things, man.